Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4 Unite the Anglosphere. And I just want to say, we've been doing a, a whole heck of a lot of stuff over the last couple of episodes, but none of it has been towards the goal of uniting the Anglosphere. Uh, and the end of the last episode, we allied Imperialist Australia, which now doesn't exist, I don't think, at all. Imperialist New Zealand. But I'm on Imperialist New Zealand's... Okay, I don't understand. Okay, so I'm at war with... Am I at war with Centralist Australia? I don't think I'm at war with Centralist Australia. No, I'm not at war with Centralist Australia. I'm not at war with the... With, um... With Germany. Okay, so I'm only allied with... Imperialist Australia. Same Unite the Anglosphere faction. But I'm not at war with... I'm not at war with Germany, but I am at war with with France, which is going to make things slightly problematic because this area is no, this area isn't French. Where, French, uh, which territory, which territory does France actually control? Uh, I don't think it's much. So I'm hoping that we can finish up with the war kind of soon. I'm just going to start, um, you know, pretty much dropping nukes whenever I have them. To be honest, that's that's what I plan to do. Service by requirement. Uh, honestly, I think this is when we switch it on over to service by requirement. I need manpower, and I'm quite happy to pay the price in order to uh, in order to get it. National focus wise, we still have a lot of national focus stuff to go. Unfortunately, I can't get development in Australia because I was an idiot, and therefore I can't get the Imperial Conference. Which, boy oh boy, I'm so desperate. I'm so desperate to do. But I need to get, uh, I need to get Centralist, Centralist Australia need to become my faction? Can I ask them if they want to become my faction? I don't think I can. I can't invite them to faction. They're already in a faction, and they're not allowed to because they're a subject of Germany. Which is a bit of a bummer. Alright, so I think that now the, the, the best case scenario for us is that we actually finish up this war. Execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. Why would why would I want to do that? Uh, not really. All right, whatever. We'll just continue to fight in Burma. We'll continue to fight in Burma. We'll hopefully finish the uh, finish the fight over here called Cuba. All right. All right. So who am I actually at war with? Yeah. So the French Commune has surrendered. Ah, Japan and India. Japan and India. But I'm not... Burma's joined the French. Alright, that's fine. You know, so... Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah. So, Imperialist Australia has capitulated, unfortunately. Yeah, that's... It's not a super great... Uh, not a super great situation to be in. But... Hey ho! All right, they've got twelve dockyards. Where do they own? Do they own the the island of Tasmania by any chance? No, they don't. They don't own anywhere. All right, well we gotta we gotta fix that, but we gotta finish this war first. And so it turns out that we're not actually in the Axis. Everyone else is in the Axis, but everyone is at war with these guys. So if we can try and finish these guys off, that would be fantastic. Um, because it's just going to take ages otherwise. Japanese People's Republic. That's the big one, I think. Yeah, that's the really big one. That is the really big one. 14% war participation. India is another really big one. But the good news is that I should actually get help with uh, taking out India. Now that I'm not with the Axis. But, you know, we're fighting on the same side. Which is something at least. Alright, more people are going to get called into the war. Pretty much everyone is. Ask for military access. Sure, I'll allow the military... I'll allow the, the United States to do that. I don't know why they'd want to. I don't even know if they're at war with anyone at the moment. They're just at war with the French and also Japan. Alright. That's fine. That's absolutely A-OK -okay with me. So I can... So I can execute a nuclear strike on, on Japan... All right, interesting. Interesting. Uh, don't want to do uh, military parade. Military parade in imperialist 
South Africa. I mean, is this going to do anything? Not really, because they don't exist anymore. They've they've fully capitulated. Um, so I think the only way to get um, to get them back is to take over Australia and then release it as part of imperialist Australia. I think that that would still be possible. All right, lots of people joining up as our enemy. I'm not sure that it's going to make any difference. Conscious of the fact that uh, we don't actually have any troops on the mainland. Now, I don't think that that's a cause for concern. I do not think that that is a cause for concern. Uh, who's doing naval exercises over here? I mean, truthfully, I want everyone to stop doing naval exercises. But this is going to be a pain. I just know it. Alright, stop doing naval exercises and instead... Go on patrol. Go on patrol here. You... Stop doing naval exercises. Go on patrol here. Just so that we can protect. So that we can protect the... Uh, the area. Alright. What about... Sure. You. Where are you? Second submarine flotilla. Stop doing naval exercises. Why is this not possible? Alright. Great. What's this? Uh, join join wars request. Non-aggression pact. Uh, decline. I, I just don't know who I'm at war with. I have three military factories. I have 20 free military factories, but I have no steel with which to fuel those military factories. That's pretty unfortunate. That is pretty darn unfortunate, actually. Right, let's just make a whole bunch more heavy tanks, I guess. Uh, sure. The Black Prince, that's the tank that's going to be rolled out to inventory divisions, which is hopefully going to increase the armor. Not thanks to an exploit, but primarily an exploit. Uh, can I, can I do some trading, please? I feel that now might be a great opportunity to do some trading. Want to do it with America? I was going to see if, uh, Germany would, uh, would do that for us. Can we do we only have two civilian factories? What? Oh, there we go. Uh yeah, 40 civilian factories. You know what? I'm actually willing to trade 40 civilian factories. Let's do that. That's going to really help us. I mean, I know it's kind of annoying to be trading with uh, America, someone who are we are definitely going to be going to war with. But that's a, you know, it's a short-term compromise that we're going to have to adopt. All right, we need to start spending some of our military experience, our air experience, navy experience, etc. You get the picture. We need to start doing it. Non-aggression pact. I'm just going to... They want to help in our efforts. Sure. Sure, that's fine with me. There we go. Two more people participating in the war. It certainly can't hurt. Alright, let's have a look. You go there. You go there. You go there. Don't think that we should have any issues with this, but I want to free up some of the some of the manpower so that we can faff around over here. Also, our manpower is okay at the moment. It's not in a bad place. How are we doing in terms of managing our subjects? Uh, Imperialist Canada is slowly on the decrease, I think. We're slowly bringing them closer to annexed, but we need a whole bunch more political power before we can actually do that. Imperialist Australia doesn't actually exist anymore, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey-ho, that's fine. It's fine for now. I'm annoyed that we lost Burma in the first place. That's very annoying. Non-aggression required... Uh, Pact, non-aggression, independent state of Croatia. I don't care about any of this. It doesn't really matter. National focus. Do we want to do national focus? I'm so annoyed that we're not able to make this happen, by the way. So, so annoyed. Unite the Anglosphere. Um, yeah, I, I think I do want to do that. Do I want to do it now? Not particularly. We just got to be ready for anything, you know? Air defenses influence China. War with Japan, Vanguard. Uh, Anti-submarine training. 
jet aircraft. Let's go for jet aircraft, even though I'm pretty sure that I've got jet aircraft already. I don't mean to flex, but it's kind of true. Weird flex, but okay. Right, any decisions that I can make? Not really. Any decisions that matter? Not really. I think my political power is just more valuable being saved up at the moment. Okay. Good. Okay, so everything's looking good. There's uh, a lot of Indian troops on the border here. Non-aggression pact. I mean, I'm not going to attack any of these people anyway. It's just not something that I'm going to do. Alright, we've got the opportunity to use a nuclear... A nuclear bomb. Do we want to use it? That's the question. Not entirely sure that we do. Hmm. Could do it. We could do it. Oh my goodness. I'm just not interested in signing any of these non-aggression packs. I know that I'm not going to attack any of them, but... It's annoying that I, uh, that I get the option to, uh, to see them. Okay, I think we need to manually manage this in order to end the war slightly quicker. Right, alright, that was easy. Get you moving in there. Alright, turns out that these guys are very, very weak and suffering from 33% attrition. Lovely. Alright, so America's landed some troops over here. That's going to be a short-lived uh, temporary alliance, I feel. Very, very short-lived. Up until the end of the war, to be precise. Alright, move across there. Mosquito, let's increase... Uh, this, there we go. We do not have enough aluminium. Right. Chromium, we also have not got enough chromium. Sure, you know what? We can trade away a whole bunch of civilian factories. That's totally fine. What else do we want to research? Uh, sure. De Halavand Venom. Alright, Japanese People Republic. How on earth are we going to finish that war? I, I have no idea. I have absolutely not got the foggiest. And also, the Commonwealth of Nations? I just... I really do not understand how that's managed to get to the place that it is today. Argentina. Is anyone actually attacking Argentina? I don't think so. I think that they're just completely content to chill out by themselves down there, which, you know, good on them, really. Good on them. Right. There we go. Should be an easy, an easy win for us. Perfect. go. We move in here. And we'll just finish. We'll just finish them off. Alright, great. We've got a whole bunch of nuclear reactors. We're building nuclear reactors. Uh, we're building a couple. We're not building that many nuclear reactors. To be honest, we don't really have the ability to build any more nuclear reactors. We're relatively space limited when it comes to building nuclear reactors. Can you believe that that is our issue? Sure. Imperialist Canada, you can help out if you think that that would be best. I'm happy to receive any help. Right. Great. There we go. And you go in. And that's it. Perfect. We finished off a whole bunch of... Um, a whole bunch of armies that were just... Wasting our time, really. Oh, that looks like a sustained offensive from someone. All right, let's drop a nuke. There we go. All right, that'll cause some damage. All right, I want I want you to do can't do the force attack unfortunately. It's going to cost 54 command power and I don't have that ability right now. 
but hey ho. How are things going over here? Not too badly, actually, if I do say so myself. Yeah, things are actually going pretty darn well. Given that we're now fighting on, well, not two fronts, but, but basically two fronts, right? So it's going pretty darn well. Our manpower is increasing, which is wonderful, which is very, very nice. I'd like to get Pakistan to capitulate, because if Pakistan would capitulate, if Pakistan would capitulate, that would be another person in the Commonwealth of Nations who, uh, who would be out. I.e., yep, only one of two more remaining members of the Commonwealth of Nations, which is fine. I mean, we're, we're going to win. Oh my goodness. Here comes here comes US troops. Soviet Japanese war. That's still going on. How how is Japan still alive? The German Japanese war? How, how is Germany still alive? And the British Ger German and the British German Japanese war. Japan is fighting literally everyone at this point. But it's amazing how they're doing it, because they're a, a people's republic. They're three-quarters communist and a third fascist. Sorry, two-thirds two -thirds communist and a third fascist. That is... This is very, they're very strange. Very strange. Alright, let's go. Let's, put on, let's do an offensive. Big attack here. How are we doing in the air? We're doing fine in the air. Yeah, we're doing absolutely fine. Not a problem whatsoever. We're managing to attack, we're managing to push in, which is the main thing. A couple of capitals would be, would be quite nice. India is... India is gonna lose this, it's just a matter of time to be honest. All right. Keep up the pressure. We'll do a couple of national focuses for now. There we go. The problem is, is that we've not set a war object. We've not set the war objective for the for the African, the African theater troops. We've not set them a, a war objective in uh, India. We've just set them Pakistan, which I think is, I think is still the play. To be honest, I think that, I think that's what we still want to do. But unfortunately, it's just going to take take a little bit of time. Yeah. All right. Well, a couple of a couple of reinforcements from America definitely won't hurt. We've got six hundred aircraft here. That strikes me as somewhat of a problem. Building a few nuclear reactors at the moment, but I'm thinking maybe we should upgrade this this base. There we go. Send that right to the top. How long will that take? Be done by the 5th of November. Perfect. Well, one level will be done by the 5th of November. Because in the air, in this region... We are not doing fantastically. We are not doing fantastically whatsoever. And we could definitely, and we could definitely do better. That's the point. There we go. All right. All right. We're in a good place. We're in a good place. We do not have any tanks in the field yet, which I think is slowing us down. We're training a couple of infantry division units at the moment. We should be building a whole bunch of tanks. 4.7 tanks. We need 1,900 to reinforce. All right. And we're still short on steel. Really? Right, there we go. Now we should be fine for steel. It's probably not going to make much of a difference, but hey ho. Right, how are we doing over here? Germany's got troops, but uh, not really being of much assistance. Right, that's not an attack that uh, the game was going to even countenance. America's bringing their troops in here. I don't understand why America can't go for like a land invasion against 
Japan. Or even deploy some ships. I imagine that America's got quite a lot of ships at the moment, but not willing to not willing to, to bring them out. Somewhat of a strange decision there. But it's good. It's good that America's bringing some, some troops across. That's that's nice. It does make me feel slightly weird about attacking them in a little bit, but it's something that we gotta do, right? Chief of Air Force, Air Accidents Chance, Air Experience Gain, Night Operations. Maybe? Maybe? Limited Exports? I mean, I could put it to... Oh no, I can't. I can't even move it to a closed economy. Because I'm not communist or fascist. Partial mobilization. Can't move to a war economy. Can't move to total mobilization yet. Unless a whole bunch of my factories get conquered. Alright. Looking good. Some more stuff. What is this? Day bombing? Strategic bombing plus 30%. Let's do that. Sure. All right, go for go for a nuke. Can I? I can't drop a nuke. It's too far, too far out of my range. Uh, but however, we now should have air superiority in the region, which is very very nice. Can we not? We not do a. We have at least seventy five percent air superiority. What are we at at the moment? Seventy one percent, really? I feel that we're very close to getting seventy. 74% or 75%. Maybe in a little bit we'll be able to do it. Maybe they'll capitulate. That'd be quite nice. Yeah, come on. We gotta be close. We gotta be close. I mean, what I can do is I can actually just bring more... I can actually just bring more fighters in. Sure. Yeah, I think we should have more fighters. Yep, there we go. We do. Unfortunate. That sucks. Alright, how are we doing now? Great. 83%. 82% or whatever. There we go. Get a bomb drop in progress. Which will further... Which will further dent Pakistan's spirit. To be honest, I think we just need to keep doing that. We're being pushed back in, in Pakistan, which is somewhat of a surprise, I've got to admit. Alright. Let's see if that changes the tide of war uh, somewhat. Nice. Ace pilot. Don't mind me. How? How on earth? How on earth are there still troops in this area? I know they all suffer attrition when, uh, when there is a nuke that's dropped. But, hmm. Questionable. All right, we're doing fine for ships. That's okay. Everything seems to be going okay. The problem is, is that we've got to this point where everything is stuck in a massive quagmire. We're fighting in territory which is primarily deserty, mountainy. Pretty inhospitable territory to conduct warfare, I've, I've got to say. Um, and also, gosh darn it, Centralist Australia is, it's just the bane of my life. We could have the Imperial Conference uh, by now, but unfortunately we just can't do that. Because we need to... We need to develop in Australia. Why could it not be just develop in New Zealand? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh. Gosh darn it. Yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. We need to get everyone up to non-aligned, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we, we still plan to do this, it's just unfortunately going to take uh, a little bit of time. But 
hey ho, we got to do what we got to do, right? Four research boosts for jet technology. I feel like that's a little bit of a waste, given the fact that we've already unlocked jet technology. All right, what's this? Let's do Grand Battle Fleet. Perfect. Right. France have been out of this game for like 15 years. But yet they still fight on. They still fight on. Strikes? Uh oh. That's not ideal. Hmm. Sure. Lose a little bit of political power, but it is what it is, right? The French still have a fleet. We are now decreasing with... We're now decreasing uh, decreasing our fuel stockpiles. Okay, that's actually not terrible. That's, that's fine. We're fighting with the United States here, which is utterly remarkable. Does this area even have the appropriate supply? It does. Thank goodness that we built up the extra infrastructure, eh? Man, I'm so glad that we decided to do that. Anyway, well, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been Unite the Anglosphere. We're, we're kind of close, I feel, but we've now got stuck in this quagmire quagmire, which means that we're, uh, we're stuck in the quagmire. Anyway, we'll deal with this in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Hearts of Iron 4, Unite the Anglosphere, with the Man the Guns expansion. I'll see you next time. Bye.